Hello everybody. I'm Piman Howard and in today's video I'm gonna to continue the implementation and programming in the open form. In the first part of this video we consider an existing solver named Pimpelphone and add the energy equation to that solver. And in today's video we're gonna to use and also evaluate the WP solver. At the first, I would like to suggest you, if you want to access to the source code of this tutorial, you can visit the Hyperlistium website and here you can find a package with the name of the open form and all of the video and tutorial are uploaded here. You can download it and use for your simulation. Okay, let us start it. In the first part of this video, we implement this equation for the temperature to obtain the temperature field. For this purpose, uh, we consider this procedure. At the first, we create a new solver, then define a new variable, and then we introduce the energy equation in a separate file named T equation. Okay, and now we want to set up a new case to test and evaluate the developer solver. The test case that we consider to test the thermal pimple form is a planar quad flow. Uh, this tutorial provided by the open form for the pimple uh, form solver. There is the geometry as you see we have a top wall, a bottom wall and two cyclic wall. To be more clear I want to show you uh, here. This is the bottom wall here and also the moving wall on the top and also we have to cyclic boundary condition on the left and also on the right and now we want to define the temperature of the top wall for example 400 of the Kelvin and also the bottom wall is a lower value for example 353 Kelvin I emphasize that we just modify this existing tutorial to be compatible with the thermal pimple form that will be by our side to define a new variable name it, we use this part of the code. As you see, it's defined on the mesh and read on each time step folder. Okay, and we need it since we set here the mastery for this IO object. That means if we have a folder name it zero, we need to define T as a new file in that folder. When we want to start the simulation, the code goes to the zero folder and try to read the velocity field, pressure field, and also as we define it here, it needs temperature field, okay? Here, I want to introduce a new file named T. I try to use the definition of the pressure and copy the pressure file here and change the name to the T. Here is the T, and then I open the file. First of all, we need to modify the name of this object I change to the name T and also it is a volume scalar field as you, uh, you see here it is okay since we will find also the temperature as a volume scalar field. The second step is the introducing the dimension of the temperature. Here I set the temperature dimension to the Kelvin and I will provide more explanation how you can define the dimension in the open form. Don't worry about that. And for the boundary condition, I consider a fixed value, that means fixed temperature at the moving wall equal to the four, uh, 400. And for the bottom wall, I consider also a fixed temperature but with a lower value, 353. For the initial condition, I set the initial condition to the equal to the 353 Kelvin. After the definition of the temperature, we define an IO dictionary named it thermal, uh, thermal properties. It defined it on the constant directory and also we have to read this file. Okay, the second step is defining a thermal properties file in the constant directory. On the constant directory, we can find the turbulence properties and also transport properties. I open the transport properties as you see here, we define it a new kinematic viscosity. I copy this transport properties file and change the name to the thermal properties. You can do that easily. Okay, and then we define it everything on this file for the thermal diffusion coefficient. 
I open the Thermal Properties file by text editor and here first of all we have to change the name of the object to the Thermal Properties and it is okay since we define it, this name on the create fields on the solver and now we don't need the definition of the kinetic viscosity we can delete this file and according to the, the create fields here we define it a dimension scalar field name it alpha th uh, and that uh, we look up this dimension scalar field at the thermal properties that means we need to define alpha th on the thermal properties file okay i define it alpha th as you see here it has a dimension of the meter square per second and its value is here it is uh, like something that we have uh, for a fluid with parental number equal to the 5. For the dimension in the scalar field, we have to introduce the name of the scalar field, the value, and also the dimension. For example, for here for the viscosity, the dimension is the meter square per second. But to be more familiar with this definition, here we define it a matrix a vector that include seven columns the first is the mass that means here we we don't have the mass we uh, in the dimension but the second is the length uh, we have two here that means uh, it is meter square it is the dimension of the meter square and also the minus one for the time that means meter square per second and also if you have the temperature you can set all of them to the zero and just the uh, column number four set this one to the one like something that we do in the zero folder for the t file and also for the definition of the thermal diffusion we also use the meter square per second for each variable or parameter that you introduce in the thermal properties or in the zero folder you need to define the dimension according to this procedure that explain it here for the mass length time and also the temperature it is essential okay you can easily use this part of the user guide in the open form documents to set the dimension correctly the definition of the temperature and also thermal diffusion is finished here and if we check the create field we define it everything in the zero and also in the constant directory okay and now we can also check the t equation that we implemented for the temperature here we define it fvm for the transient term fvm for the divergence term for the phi and t and also laplacian and now we can define the discretization method in the fe schemes and also for the solving the discretized equation we can define in the method of the solving algebraic equation in the fe solution to set the discretization scheme, we can open the system directory on the FE scheme. We can define everything here. For example, for the DDT scheme, we set the default scheme to the back. But if you would like to change the transient scheme for the temperature, you can define here for the sorry for the T. For example, Euler scheme. For example, it is not so important here. But if you don't define this one. Uh, it is uh, used the default scheme is the backward for the Gerard scheme also they uh, set the cause linear and for the divergence scheme we have to set the divergence of the phi and t to use Gauss linear since here the default scheme is the known that means we needed to define each divergence schemes separately okay so it is essential for the definition in otherwise we receive an error when we uh, execute the thermal pimple form solver for the laplacian schemes we also use the default scheme the ghost linear if you would like to change this one you are also can define the laplacian of the alpha th and t for example Goes linear corrected or other schemes it is not so important just I want to show you you can easily define it here okay and I comment it since it is not necessary for now if you would like to change the default scheme you can uh, do it easily okay that's all
uh, we need to just define the divergence of the phi and t here. The final step is modifying the FV solution to include the solver of the temperature. I open the FV solution by my text editor here. You can find the solver of the pressure field, the velocity, and you can easily introduce the solver of the temperature. If you would like to follow my procedure, I would like to suggest you to copy the solver of the velocity here and just paste here. And since we needed to solve the temperature, we change the name of the U to the T. It is the definition of the solver for the temperature and we use the smoother solver as we use it for the velocity as we solve the velocity and also the relative terms and also the terms are set here you can also change it it is not so important here okay we define also the solver of the temperature in the fit solution and now we can execute the thermal pimple foam and hopefully maybe we don't receive any error or warning okay i load the open foam version 7 and also use the thermal pimple foam solver as you see here when i run this uh, application we received an error it is clear since it says that uh, we define it the solver as you see here i think i think we have to modify here just we need to delete the parentheses and then save the fv solution if we back to the terminal here we can also again run the thermal pimple form without any error or warning I think it maybe takes five minutes and we have to wait it okay let's finish and now we can pass process the temperature field by using power form utility here is the geometry I change the variable to the T temperature as you see here the 400 here is 353 and I run the animation as you see the temperature diffused to the lower wall and after a while it reads uh, approximately the SDS solution. We define the temperature and also solving the energy equation to obtain the temperature field and here you can find the distribution of the temperature. It seems correct and I think it is a basic tutorial for who wants to implement a new equation or programming in the open form. If you enjoy from this video and tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe our channel in the YouTube and also visit our website Hyperlysium to find more tutorial about other uh, softwares or packages and also you can easily access to the source code of each of these tutorial and video. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me and I try to uh, provide further video for you to be more familiar with the open phone safety solver and simulation of the fluid flow phenomena. Until the next video, goodbye.